Hello friends, today in this video we are going to learn about angles. You can see here a diagram is given and we have to find angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D. This diagram is a parallelogram. So M, N, P, O is a parallelogram which don't have any right angles and angle P, M, N is 42 degree and angle P N T is 120 degree and we have to find the other four angles A, B, C and D. So let's get started. If you see in this parallelogram there are two triangles M O P and M P N. So I write here these two triangles. Triangle M O P and another triangle is M P N. So in triangle M O P we don't know angle A, angle D and angle C. If we know any one or two angles then it's easy to find the third angle. But in this case there is no angles we don't know any angle that's why it's very difficult to find other remaining angles but in triangle mpn so in this triangle mpn we know only one angle which is 42 degree and we don't know the angle b and angle i give here the name as angle e so we don't know the angle A and angle E and as we know the angles the sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degree comes whatever we know, the answer we will get that is the addition of these two angles but this is not equilateral or isosceles triangle so we can't do that so what is the way to find these angles as you see here angle P and T is 120 degree so this angle is 120 degree and we can easily find the angle E here the angle whatever the mix it is straight angle and it is 180 degree so when we minus 120 degree from 180 degree it will comes angle E that is 60 degree so angle E is 60 degree now in this triangle for M P N we got we have got two angles angle M is 42 degree angle N is 60 degree so it's easy to find the angle B as we know for angle M P N angle M plus angle P plus angle N is equal to 180 degree. So angle M is 42 degree plus angle P which is B we have to find that one plus angle N is 60 degree is equal to 180 degree. So 42 plus 60 is 102 degree plus angle B is equal to 180 degree that angle B is equal to 180 degree minus 102 degree comes as 78 degree so we have got angle B which is 78 degree so I write here 78 degree so we have got one answer angle B which is 78 degree angle P M N and angle M P O are opposite angles and opposite angles are always same that's why if angle P M N is 42 then angle M P O is also 42 that means D is also 42 42 degree so angle D is also 42 degree and we have got angle B as 78 degree. So angle B and angle A are opposite angles. That's why they are also 
सेम मीन्स एंगल ए इज ऑल्सो सेवंटी एट डिग्री सो आई राइट हियर एंगल ए एट सेवंटी एट डिग्री नाउ इन दिस ट्रैंगल एम ओ पी वी हैव गॉट टू एंगल्स एंगल ए एंड एंगल डी सो इट्स इजी टू फाइंड एंगल सी सो आई राइट हियर फॉर द ट्रैंगल एम ओ पी एंगल ए प्लस एंगल सी प्लस एंगल डी इक्वल्स वन हंड्रेड एटी सम ऑफ ऑल द एंगल्स इन ए ट्रैंगल इज वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्री सो एंगल ए इज सेवेंटी एट डिग्री प्लस एंगल सी विच वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट एंगल डी इज फोर्टी टू डिग्री इक्वल्स वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्री सो एंगल सी प्लस वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी डिग्री इक्वल्स वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्री सो एंगल सी इक्वल्स वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्री माइनस वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी डिग्री विच कम्स एज सिक्सटी डिग्री सो एंगल सी इज अ सिक्सटी डिग्री यू कैन सी हियर वी हैव गॉट ऑल द आंसर्स एंगल ए इज सेवेंटी एट डिग्री एंगल बी इज सेवेंटी एट डिग्री एंगल सी इज सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड एंगल डी इज फोर्टी टू डिग्री आई होप दिस वीडियो is helpful for those students who are struggling to solve such type of problems keep watching my videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you